The Mississippi Delta is the Silicon Valley of the blues. You had people like Muddy Waters, Howling Wolf, John Lee Hooker, Sonny Boy Williamson creating this music as they went from scratch. These men invented rock and roll. There's something innately human about wanting to get together, let your worries go, and celebrate. Blues is party music. It's about release. It's about energy. Every time you go into a club, people are always smiling. People are dancing. People are having a great time. From 1983 to 1992, as a freelance writer, it was a passion for me. Two or three nights a week, I'd be out in a club, either experiencing the music for myself or getting paid to write about it. That allowed me to go backstage and meet a lot of these artists and get the extensive interviews interviews and all of those great quotes and comments about their music and their life that you're now able to read about and experience all in one place in Blues Flashbacks. The book has no page numbers. It's designed for browsing, for jumping around, pick the person you want to learn about, pick the theme, and grab a story. In the Blues Flashback ebook, there'll be four sections. The first one is setting the stage. The second one is the legends, and that's where you'll find stories about B.B. King, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Willie Dixon. The third part is classics, Junior Wells, Coco Taylor, the Allman Brothers, the band, uh, Jack Bruce and Ginger Baker. Behind the scenes, where there were some stories about the business of blues. There's an interview with Bruce Iglauer, the founder of Alligator Records, and there's a story about 2120 South Michigan Avenue, uh, the story of Chess Records, an indie label with all of these great artists, they didn't just have hit songs, they really started a revolution. The British invasion started in this building. Now, as the Blues Heaven Foundation Museum, this is where they keep a lot of the great uh, artifacts and treasures that they have. And one of the most prominent ones is Willie Dixon's bass. Phil Chess actually called my grandmother. The old chess building's gonna be torn down if no one wants to buy it. My grandmother, with the restoration of the building, wanted to make sure that people could come in and see what chess was like and get a little taste of the history that chess has left on the world. There's a, a certain magical feeling when you walk in, you can hear the acoustics, you hear what the room does to your voice. And then you can kind of close your eyes and imagine Muddy Waters sitting over here on guitar. You might have Buddy Guy right next to him playing rhythm guitar, you've got Willie Dixon on bass. We get people come in and, oh man, I just want to get in the room and I'm just in awe and some people come in and are like, I have goosebumps. And you can feel it come alive when you walk in here and you get a sense just for how contemporary this sound really is. You keep hearing that expression over and over again nowadays. You need to keep the music alive. How can we keep blues alive? And I thought this might be a nice contribution to that cause.